Hillary is pulling out all the stops as she tries to surpass Barack Obama. So today's strategy was to call in her right-hand man and husband, former President Bill Clinton, to command an audience in Ottumwa, Iowa. And it's a strategy that seemed to work. Came to see Bill. I want to hear what he has to say. I've always wanted to see him. Are you excited to see Bill Clinton? Yes, that's the first president that I've ever seen. They weathered the cold, sacrificing their holiday just to see Bill. Is this how you thought you would be spending your New Year's? No. No, actually we had to cancel plans so that we could come and see Bill. Despite Bill's political powerhouse status, you could see some true blue Hillary fans. I'm committed. It's Hillary all the way. I mean, one of the reasons I signed on with Hillary was because of Bill. I mean, he was a good president, and, and this country was humming right along. But the strategy derailed. Bill was a no-show. The president and um, the governor were trying to fly in from Omaha, and they had mechanical difficulties with their airplane. However, the plane's problems didn't stop Bill from talking to the crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, we do have the 42nd president of the United States on the phone. Hello? Hello. We can hear you, sir. Despite audio problems, the audience was treated to an off-the-cuff Hillary endorsement. I think you've got a great thing to choose from this year and the clear responsibility to pick the person who'd be the best president. I think if you look at Hillary's vision for America, to rebuild our middle class, restore our leadership in the world, reclaim the future for our kids, and reform the government to break the stranglehold the special interests have had in the Bush years, it's the right vision. And it's a vision many voters are ready to support. Even if they didn't get to meet Bill in person, Iowans like Brenda Case are ready to cast their vote for the New York senator. I think she's got the experience and the poise, um, the wisdom that we need to turn this country around. It brings back some uh, compassion and leadership, both at home and you know, as part of the rest of the world. And in less than three days' time, Hillary Clinton could be making world headlines when she either wins or loses this caucus. In Ottumwa, Iowa, Dave Detling, WEBN News.